Hi, this is Zen the Crypto Queen, and I was going to show you something in Uphold here um, about trading, and I plan to, but I think I'm going to have to do it from the app on my phone because there's something weird going on with my computer. But I did want to make this video because somebody had requested um, an updated version of how to put 2FA, that's two-factor authentication on your Uphold account. The issue is if I go in to do it, um, I would have to shut it off, which would prompt a whole bunch of emails. Why did you shut down your 2FA, blah, blah, blah. And then I'd have to reset it again and get into uh, what might be a very circular issue linking to my old email. It's a whole long story. I'm not going to get into it, but I'm going to show you exactly where to do it on your screen and show you um, what you can do, okay? So here we are in Uphold uh, right now. I just made a video about not leaving all your stuff on an exchange. This is gonna be moving. I think I'll leave probably 2,000 in here because I wanna, or maybe a little bit more. Um, I wanna do some trading, but I will have to do it off the app, which I will make another video about, okay? But I wanna show you the 2FA for now. So here you are, you got your portfolio, you got activity, markets, integrations, and right down at the bottom, that three dots is more. Click there. Click on security. You can change your password here. You can do your, I have the Google Authenticator app on my phone. So when I log in, whether it's on my computer or I log in on my phone, I have to go to my Google Authenticator app and get a six digit code. That six digit code changes every 30 seconds. So um, once you have it, you're, you know, you're set. Okay. And now all I do on my phone, I have it set up so that I enter a four digit code, um, which actually uh, then sets me up for the two factor authentication. I go to the authenticator app, pick that six, six digit code. So I have two sets of, um, you know, uh, security. Okay. So, you know, I'm afraid to even click on these things, but, uh, all you have to do is, um, let's see, recover two factor authentication access. Uh, uh, I'm afraid to even click on these, but should I, oh boy. Um, you know what? I'm going to let you do it. Okay. Because I already have my method set up with authenticator app right here. So what you have to do is set up your method they will ask you if you want to do an authenticator app. If you don't have the kind of phone, I don't know, I have an iPhone. Maybe on Androids, they don't have the Google Authenticator app. I can't imagine that they wouldn't. But if you don't want to get caught up in that, you can set up just the four-digit code for your phone. So I have that on my phone device plus the Authenticator app. On here, I just have to do the Authenticator app which I have to have my phone in the room to do when I'm, when I log in on the computer. Okay. So sorry, I can't walk through this step-by-step. Step. This is the reason, um, I think his name was Larry who requested this updated video. I've got a lot of videos stacked up. Uh, you know, there's a lot of video views stacked up on that one video. Um, I will link it in the description box below. Hopefully it'll help you because it's just as relevant today as it was when I made that video over a year ago. Okay. So I'm going to end this on that note. And thanks so much for being with me. Love you all. And I hope you're doing well in the crypto market right now. Um, chat with you on the next video. Ciao for now.